when the people are going crazy and I'd come down and throw a pass and they'd be, fire, that's my girl, fire, fire. Because flaming red hair, they're so appreciative of you. This is like the most incredible place for me because you know, I played here and people would be sitting in the trees. There was no scoreboard at the time. This was just asphalt. But this place was crazy. Arnold Duggar, Joey Hammond, uh, Herman the Helicopter, Julius Irving, you know, Abdul Jabbar, or Lou Alexander for that matter. This is like where it all happened. It was happening here when people came out to play. And I remember playing here and Joe Hammond um, had 87 points. And it was the, it was the uh, metal backboards and a pole. I was at uh, Far Rockway High School. I just, be, I was junior high and going into Far Rock and people said the best players play at Rucker Park in Harlem. And I'm like, what's Rucker Park? So somebody told me, and um, I took the A train from Far Rockaway into Manhattan, changed trains, came here, got off on whatever, 155th, I think, in Malcolm X. But I rode the trains, and I had T-shirts stuffed in my jacket, and I would sit on the train like this, and I'd glare at people, I'd like, do it to them before they did it to you. And I walked in the park one day, and these guys were like, little girl? I'm like, yeah. Do you know where you are? I said, yeah, do you? The first way to get into the game here is you had to make a foul shot. It didn't matter how big, strong, how many dunks you can do. If you couldn't make a foul shot, you'd have to sit. It could be 30, 40 minutes. If you won the first game, you automatically played the second game, and then you sat. So it was a strategy, and I'd go home to Far Rockaway, and I'd just stand by myself and shoot foul shots, because I knew that's how I would get into the game. They would meet me at the station right here and they'd walk me into the park. They would come home with me and make sure that I got home to Far Rockaway. And I'm just so grateful to the, these guys who championed me. Oh, did I mention they were, they were black guys who cared about a little white girl? And they protected me. And every step of the way, they told me what I could be. If you wanted to create some street cred, it happened right here. And when they believe in you and they cheer for you, it means you've done something right. And so I, I just have tremendous love and respect. And people say to me, aren't you afraid to go into Harlem? I'm like, for what? No, why would I be afraid to go into Harlem? I love the folks here. This is, this is homecoming for me. So I'm very, I'm proud and proud to be in the big three. Just sharing what I know with our players, who are unbelievable, not just on my team, on all teams. These guys aren't here on a lark. They, they earn the, the right to be here, and I, I want to be an asset to team power. I'm Basketball Hall of Famer Nancy Lieberman, and you're watching Slick. <laughs>